I'm Bernadette. I work for a radio. I'm, I'm cast in the film, oh, but okay. I also have a morning radio show. Oh, wait right a uh, In Wayburn. Oh, great. Yeah. Around back, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Magic 103 is my radio show. Oh, wonderful. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So, um, what made you well, decide to uh, honor and recognize Mary Bonnie Baker? Oh, well, it's such a great opportunity to highlight the stories of uh, such, you know, strong uh, Canadian women. It also provides an opportunity for us to say that, uh, you know, some of the most uh, you know, high-profile players in the, uh, the American leagues were, in fact, Canadians. You know, 68, 68 members, uh, Hall of Famers, were, were part of the league in various ways, either on the field or, uh, or off it. Um, so we're really proud of them. We want to share that with uh, Canadians in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where are you from? I'm from Toronto. Okay, okay. So... Why Ogama? Why did you choose Ogama as the set location? Yeah, Ogama's purpose built for this production. It seemed uh, everything is really, you know, crystallized in time here. There's a fantastic and very well preserved ball diamond here. Um, there's also uh, a, a moving and running train, which we were able to put to great use. And uh, just otherwise great facilities and, and a town that really came out to support uh, the production here. We had. Um, loads of extras from you know from town uh, filling in the grandstand yesterday at the ballpark, and it was great to see that level of support from the community. And we're really uh, we're really proud of that, and can't say enough good things about Ogama. Do you do several several of these heritage Canadian heritage minutes? We do about two a year. Okay, yeah, about two a year, and we've been we've been uh, we brought them back uh, after a short period of uh, hiatus. Brought them back in uh, 2012 and. Have done upwards of 20 uh, productions since then. Okay, so uh, wow. So I mean, there's two days of shooting. However, pre-production, mm -hmm. months and months, <clears throat> months and months and months of pre-production. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, from early research and development through to discussions with uh, community and historical consultants to the scripting process and storyboards and animatics. Uh, it's a it's a long process to ensure that we're telling the story accurately and uh, sensitively um, and so that everything is prepped and ready to go in two days of, uh, of, of camera work and then of course there's months of post-production thereafter so it's about a 10 to 10 months to a year's pro, pro, like process per, per now, minute. Now are you a filmmaker or are you more of a historian? Uh, I'm a, I work at Historica Canada and so we're one of the you know the largest organizations were a non-profit in Canada dedicated to history and uh, what it means to be uh, Canadian.